0-800-920-2999. My name is Dr. David Samadhi, and I'm the chair of urology at Lenox Hill Hospital, and we're excited to be here. Uh, first 10, 15 minutes, I'm going to talk about what's going on out there. The study that just came from China talks about the effect of vitamin B, folic acid, uh, in prevention and reducing the rate of stroke. Um, this is important because they basically looked, about, looked at 10,000 participants um, who actually got the vitamin B, a folic acid, and they got something called enalopril. And another group only got the enalopril. And the, P, the group that actually took the vitamin B had 21% lower risk of stroke, which is significant. A lot of you have asked me, you know, should I be taking all these vitamins? They're taking multivitamins. Some of the doctors out there talk about taking vitamin D, which has become like a big thing. And, and there's a concept that the more you take, the better it is, which is absolutely a huge mistake because some of these vitamins, they have a, a lot of side effects and they can be a problem. In this particular case, taking about uh, 0.8 milligram of folic acid was reduced and the risk of stroke, which is important. How does it do it? They think it's probably reducing homocysteine. So if you're taking multivitamins, make sure you have some B1, B6, and certainly B12, which is important to reduce the risk of Alzheimer's and some of the things that we spoke about. Vitamin D has been my favorite vitamin. We've talked about this. I think it's a real hormone that has helped in reducing risk of prostate cancer, colon cancer, and many other cancers, as well as multiple sclerosis. But in this particular research that's coming from Scotland, they found out that taking vitamin D, it's not going to really reduce the risk of high blood pressure, and it was a negative study. So there are times that I think vitamin D could be helpful, particularly in the case of type 1 diabetes. We've seen vitamin D is very helpful. Vitamin D is responsible for absorbing calcium, um, and, and making your bones stronger. What should be the level of your vitamin D? It should be somewhere between 30 to 100. Um, I personally take about 2,000 units a day and I measure my vitamin D. So ask your doctor about your level. And I think that's important. Um, keep it around uh, 30 to 50. That's a healthy one. And always take vitamin D3, which gets absorbed really better. Now in the field of prostate cancer, where it's my expertise, there's a great study that just came out that vitamin D can actually control low-risk prostate cancers. These are the prostate cancers that may or may not be aggressive enough to get you. And so instead of doing surgery or radiation, we can put you somewhere between 2,000 to 4,000 units of vitamin D to control it. Everything that I'm talking today is going to be posted on samadhimd.com. That's our blog, samadhimd.com. And we're going to put all the interviews also on that. So log in if I go a little bit too fast and give you all the information, samadhimd.com. And that's your vitamin D that you need to know about.